Hello everyone and welcome for this session on the tutorial for CGAPI uh, of um, the Python module for CGA, the Customer Journey Analytics um, API module on Python uh, that I developed. So what this video is about, it's just the very first introduction on why I've created the API, what, what this is about. Um, so uh, let's get directly into it. And what is Customer Journey Analytics? So Customer Journey Analytics is the uh, Adobe Analytics next generation. So it's not the same than Adobe Analytics. It lives on top of Adobe Experience Platform uh, that you can leave, you can see here. Uh, and it pulled the data from the Adobe Experience Platform into uh, its own database. And then from there uh, can run some type of Adobe Analytics elements. So it's a much more powerful and much more complicated way than this. Uh, you can have a lot of different data sets uh, in your connections. And these videos or those videos that I'm going to uh, do on these topics will not be about explaining customer journey analytics. This uh, has been already been done uh, from uh, people way smarter and, and way better explaining this than me. Um, so you can go to the uh, customer analytics guide and there are some explanation there and the very good ones and you can see that customer analytics works with connection um I, i'll go very quickly about it and uh, tell you those enables you to ingest data from experience platform as i was explaining before then from those connection you can create different data views and those data views are working the same way that virtual reports would for the one that are coming from adobe analytics so you uh, are creating views of the data you have imported. Uh, so you are able to filter or to um, or change the data uh, that you are reporting on. And then once you have your data view, you can create workspace project on the, those elements. And the workspace project are exactly your uh, analysis. So you can see that I'm loading data into uh, a data analytics project so this is my project and there you will for the one that are familiar with Adobe analytics see a very common interface is the workspace interface and this gives me the different information i have about the uh, the data analytics connection and data set i am retrieving uh, using the uh, uh, AP Web SDK. So you can see the post title that is the most seen. Um, so it's probably my home page, uh, the Adobe Analytics API 2.0 that I built, uh, and some elements uh, that you want to see. So you can see the different category. Uh, I'm actually uh, having the most visit on and so forth. So this is not about explaining all of that, but you have to understand yeah, what this is about before uh, going even further. So if you are not familiar with this and you don't know what I'm talking about, so please read the uh, documentation that will explain a lot of the things uh, way better than I can do it. But if you are still here, then it means that you want to actually take advantage of the Adobe NA, of the sorry customer journey analytics um, interface in a more powerful way, and for that the API exists. So the API uh, from the customer journey analytics have the same has the same structure than the Adobe Analytics 2.0. So therefore, I was able to reproduce most of the code or most of the architecture that I had before, but I also improve it quite a lot uh, because it's no fun to do uh, exactly the same thing. At least for me, it's no fun. So I did uh, a couple of more things that I'm pretty sure you will find interesting. And this video is just to get you started there. So you can find the documentation of the API on this nice website, Adobe IO, CGA-APIs, Docs APIs. Well, you can just look for Customer Analytics API. You will find that very uh, very easily. And you can see the different endpoints that are available for you with nice example on what you can do. Um, the CGPI, 
So uh, the module, the Python module I have developed will abstract all of those details details for you. You don't need to understand what the query parameters are and what are the uh, uh, body schema you need to have. And all of these are, are completely abstracted from you. But in case you want to have more information and I'm not providing enough uh, either on my GitHub or either um, uh, on this video, you can always refer to this as the single point of truth. And the first thing you want to do um, for starting this uh, tutorial or starting yeah, this uh, element on CGPI, so of course, is having access to customer journey uh, analytics. If you don't have access, you won't be able to use that. Uh, that's, uh, that's an obvious uh, thing. And then uh, it's to start with Python. So the module I've built uh, is on Python, so it should, it should run on Python uh, dot three and above. So at the moment, I think uh, you see Python 3.10 um, has been released so with the version 00. zero. So and I will not recommend using the version zero uh, exactly. Uh, so if you are uh, listening to this video, uh, uh, watching this video a bit later and you have a, a version higher than zero, then you can definitely use that. Otherwise, yeah, you take the I have the 3.9 uh, for development. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, where you can start. The thing that is important to do uh, once you install Python on your computer is to make sure you have Python on the path. So um, you can go to your uh, system administration. You can definitely watch that online. There is videos uh, about this uh, on how you, on you can do that. But the idea is that yeah, you can see that I have um, the Python some script here and also Python uh, 3.7, actually I'm using 3.7 and 3.9, on, uh, on the path that uh, you have on your computer. So you can directly call Python from anywhere on your computer and you will see uh, how we get that done. The second thing that you want to have, and this is not a must, you don't have to, but all of the tutorial will be based on this, so it's, uh, it's a very good thing to do, is to install uh, Jupyter. And there is installing Jupyter software um, on a page for this, so you can just follow the, the guide. And there is two ways to get Jupyter. So Jupyter Lab, a Jupyter Notebook. I'm not sure yet which one I will display in these videos because yeah, I'm, I'm mostly using Jupyter Notebooks, but it's the classic legacy version, the new one and fun funkier one is Jupyter Lab. Let's see if I want to use that maybe for some videos. But in any case, it will work for both. Um, you get that started. So you get Python and Jupyter uh, on your machine. And then I will come back to another video on how to install the module of, um, uh, of uh, CJPI. Now you have, you can do pause and you have actually uh, installed both, both of the things and you want to wait, wait for the end of the video to install both of the things. What you need to have uh, then is access to the developer console. So you go to uh, developeradobe.com or console.adobe.io. Uh, then you are redirected to this uh, element with your current organization. And you can create a new test, a new project, sorry, uh, for your uh, tutorial. So the project that you are going to create is going to link to a specific solution or actually to two specific solutions in our case. Um, make sure you have developer access or even better system admin access to your organization on AP and on customer journey analytics. You need to have both and this is something that is important for your uh, project to run uh, correctly. So I'm going to do that and create a new project to guide you very briefly through. Um, it won't be that that big of a uh, idea, but you just create a new project. <clears throat> you see the load uh, the element loaded, and then to that project you can add APIs. And as I was explaining before you need to have two APIs connected to that project to make it work for CTA. Uh, the IEP, so if you look into Adobe Experience Platform, available to you, so you need to have Experience Platform API 
and you need to have in the experience cloud i believe customer journey analytics so both of those things need to be uh, attached to your project uh, so you will run one integration with customer journey analytics and one integration with the experience platform api uh, not experience platform launch API. This is uh, the tag management system. You want the experience platform API. And then you, you have both project uh, attached in one element. And once you have that, I can show you how it looks like. <clears throat> so this is my own. Normally, you can auto-generate um, a certificate and a key, and we'll see that uh, we'll see how we use that later. So this one has only Experience Platform API, but you will have a Customer Journey Analytics uh, API, and then uh, if you have to your service account information. you will have all of those information plus the key that you can actually uh, you have on normally downloaded directly or you can regenerate one um, uh, your private key uh, for your uh, elements so you need to uh, save those information because we re reuse it or at least have it available somewhere uh, easy for the next video because we are going to use that uh, for the next video where we explain how we get started with a CG API. So thanks for uh, listening. It was very short intro. Uh, I hope uh, we have been able to follow and uh, yeah, have fun. <laughs>